Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to balance audio in Final Cut Pro. Now, the key to anything in life is balance. Oh. Oh. Cue the intro. I'm gonna share with you how to find the right balance with all of your audio elements, voiceover, music, sound effects. We will take a look at a variety of techniques, including EQ sweeping and applying a limiter to your audio. Let's go check that out. All right, so we're here in Final Cut Pro and we are gonna dive into balancing audio. So the elements of our timeline that we've got going on right now, uh, you can see we've got these video clips and uh, we have some voiceover that we recorded, also a bunch of sound effects, and finally the music. So before we dive in, I wanna show you one quick little tip and that's right here where it says show or hide the audio meters. It's a button that you don't expect to be a button, but if we click on that, over here to the side pops up these audio levels. So you'll see these uh, going up and down as uh, we play audio. Um, you can expand or collapse that depending on your preference. I like to see more of my timeline. I'm gonna keep that nice and slim on the side. So I'm gonna play this back just to show you the value of balancing audio because right now this sounds like a big old mess. I promise there's talking in there. You just really can't hear any of it. So we have a lot of work to do. First thing I wanna do is look at the voiceover. So we're gonna highlight all the sound effects and the music clips. We're gonna press the V key. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna disable all those clips. So right now, if we play that back. Our world is full of life. Don't miss out on the beauty that our world has to offer. So dramatic. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a look at this voiceover and find ways that we can improve it. So because I've already done a little bit of editing, I'm gonna go ahead and select this track and create a compound clip. I'm gonna call this voiceover compound clip. What this is gonna do is as we make all these changes, it's gonna take place across all these selections here. So let's press okay. Now we have a compound audio clip. So what we're gonna do now is go to the effects browser. And in here, let's scroll up, find the all audio and video. We're gonna look for, you might be guessing or knowing where we're going here, channel EQ. So let's drag and drop that right on here. Now I understand from experience that this, th that channel EQ is a little intimidating at first. So let's walk through this. While I am no expert, I, I can give you a few tips on how to navigate through this and to at least improve your audio. So we're gonna go up here to the inspector, which is right here with these little sliders. And we're gonna make sure our audio is selected. We're gonna come up here to the audio inspector. All right, so in the inspector, you'll see the volume, you'll see audio enhancements, pan mode, and effects. So this button here, this will turn off and on all the effects. Then just to share the rest of this menu, you've also got the um, different parts of the audio. Drag that down, give us more space. So in this channel EQ, you'll find this preset menu, which you can come down here, find, uh, you know, like a voiceover, speaking voice improvement. You can select that and then listen back to our clip. Our world is full of life. So that might improve it just enough. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it on default and we're gonna do our own changes. So we're gonna click on this little icon here which will bring up the advanced editor user interface. And that's this right here. So I'm gonna show you a couple things with this. One is as this is played, Our world is full you're gonna to wanna to click on Don't analyzer. And this will give you, even as you pause, it'll give you an idea of where your voice is hitting at in different spots. So first thing we're gonna do is called EQ sweeping. Let's go ahead and just start with the yellow one. So we're gonna slide the parameters to make it as small as possible. And then we're gonna bring it all the way up and we're gonna play our audio back. Shift Z to, so I can see the full timeline here. I'm gonna to introduce to you a key that is really awesome and that is the forward slash. So every time you click on this forward slash, it's gonna start playing the selected clip from the beginning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this up and we are gonna listen for any bad frequencies, anything that just sounds awful. 
So let's go ahead and press that key, the forward slash key. Our world is full of life. Don't miss out on the beauty our world has to offer. Our world is full of life. Ooh. Don't miss out on That's the one I'm not a fan of. So what we can do is slide this right down. So we're right at 22, 23 dB. We can slide this down and remove that frequency. So we hear it. It doesn't sound great. We want to take that out. And if we keep it nice and slim, it's not going to affect the sound of your voice to where it's going to sound terrible. Our world is full of life. I'm going to play it safe and keep it right around 15 dB. All right, and then we can grab another one, do the same thing. We, so we finished our EQ sweeping, where we found a couple spots where the frequencies were just a little, ah! So uh, now what we want to do is we're going to grab these ends here. So this is just going to cut out any higher frequencies, lower frequencies. We don't want to overlap where our audio is playing, though. Our world is full of life. Don't miss out on the beauty our world has to offer. And there's a few other things that you can do. Uh, you can grab some of these in here and kind of increase this spot if you'd like to. Um, creating a little bit of a shelf there. Same thing on this side. So when you get to the point that you're editing your audio, you are going to want to make sure that you throw some headphones on or have some your best quality speakers playing towards you. But headphones do help significantly. You can hear sounds that you wouldn't normally hear with just listening to speakers, say from a, a MacBook, such as what I'm playing it on right now. So while this isn't perfect, it's not ideal, we're at least getting closer to balance. We're getting closer to the point where we have everything sounding really great. Achieving the right balance in Final Cut Pro can take some work, but I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. So the next effect we're gonna look at is the limiter. Let's drag that on top of our clip. And what we're gonna do here is we are gonna go straight into the Advanced Editor UI. So let's bring that up. So I'm gonna show you just a quick way to get everything in here balanced. So output level, we're gonna drop, we're gonna bring down to negative six dB. Now with the release, I've heard people saying anywhere from 10 milliseconds to 300 milliseconds. So you can test this out, see how it feels. So you can use a little bit of trial and error with these, um, but typically I keep mine right around 250. With this, uh, with the look ahead, I would keep this from two to four milliseconds. Uh, let's go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and stick with four and the gain. Now this is where you're gonna to wanna to play back your audio and the gain you want to adjust until you see the reduction at about negative, at about plus three. All right, and the next recommended change is just to take this precision mode into legacy mode and make sure the soft knee is on. So the soft knee effect will allow for a softer, less abrupt effect. So because I recorded the clip, whisper quiet, I'm going to change this in here to uh, be a little bit higher on the output. That way it's gonna reach closer to negative six on the actual output out here. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna adjust our space a little bit, close the effects browser, press shift C to get a better view here. Now what we're gonna do is look at the music. So let's get the music balanced before we dive into the sound effects, which will be the last layer. Press V, press the V key to re-enable that. And let's play it back. Our world is full of All right, so it sounds like it's it's still a little too high. So we're gonna bring this down a bit. Let's try negative 10. And we're gonna create a fade in and a fade out. Let's play that back and see how that sounds. Our world is full of life. Don't miss out on the beauty our world has to offer. Take time to notice. Go outside. Solid. So there's just enough music to create the mood for the track and we can still hear the voiceover coming through. Mm. And when they're partnered together, it sounds fantastic. So the next thing we're gonna look at is these sound effects. And this just adds another layer. So in a way, this video, world is full of life. It's, it, it's, it, it almost feels two dimensional. You know, we've got the voiceover, we've got the music, we've got the visual, but it just feels like the it just feels like the scenes are not popping out at us. So I brought some sound effects in here and I'm going to go ahead and enable these. 
Don't miss out on the beauty our world has to offer. Take time to notice. We really do want each of these sound effects to just be subtle ambience for each clip. So we're gonna highlight all these clips, go up to modify, down to adjust audio fades, and we're going to apply fades to all. So now we'll have a fade in and a fade out on each of these clips. So that's gonna help, especially with the waterfall. And you'll notice the way I've placed these sound effects is each one is overlapping. So that way you kind of hear the next clip coming in and the other one is fading out. So that way it creates for a dynamic change and shift where it's not just an abrupt chick, chick. So we especially wanna change this big waterfall sound. So let's drag that down to the point where, let's try negative 17 and let's listen to that back. Our world is full of life. Don't That's great. Now those birds are a little chirpy, a little loud. Let's bring them down too. Don't miss out on the beauty of our world. And maybe a little bit less of that water. We don't want that water's kind of far away, so we don't want it to feel like the mic was placed next don't to the miss ground. Out on the beauty our world has to offer. All right, so the water and the birds sound about right. The birds are a little closer. We could probably bring them down just a smidge and more. Very nice. Now this next one. It looks like we didn't start that soon enough. So we want that to come in and then fade as we come to the next one. Let's go ahead and play that back. Take time to notice. All right, so that sounds pretty good. It's a little loud. We'll bring that down as well. And then the waves, this last one, we're gonna want that to come in like that, nice and easy. And then let's bring this down quite a bit. Go outside. Let's have that. We'll drag this fade to match the fade of the audio as well as the transition here. Solid. Across this whole timeline, it does sound like the voice is a little low. Again, went with a very whisper quiet. So we had a very quiet voiceover. Let's go ahead and drag that up just to the point where it's getting into the yellow. Typically, you'll find that that limiter that we used earlier will kind of balance everything out. But again, we went with whisper quiet style. Miss out on the beauty our world has to offer. Take time to notice. Go outside to notice. Go outside. Take time to notice. Go outside. All right, so we've taken a look at how we can adjust voiceover, sound effects, and music to blend well together and to not overpower one another. So that body of music is still there, but it's partnering with the voiceover. And the same thing with the sound effects. Dropping those in with at the normal volume level, way too powerful. So we brought those down to be more ambient and more subtle, and it just allows for all those scenes to pop even more. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. I think you're finding your footing with learning how to balance audio in Final Cut Pro. I've made another video about how to clone yourself in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.